Hello, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It's Coffee Time, John and Mama. And I'm John, and this is Mama. And this is not going to be a completed video because uh, we're getting ready to use Crock Pot. We're making one of our favorites, one of your all's favorites too, if you've ever tried it, Dr. Pepper Ribs. Mama's showing that rack of ribs. I put this out in the refrigerator uh, early this morning, and then I put it in the sink with some hot water just while ago. And she's got the ribs in there. Let me drag y'all a little closer. Mama, you just roll them up in there like that. Unless you want to cut them. No, let's don't cut them. Okay. So and, whoa, y'all just jump, about jumped in a crop, huh? Your lap, like. Let me get you back over here. I got the microphone off kilter, too. What am I doing, John? Get your act together. Okay, so I'm just going to shake, shake some salad on top of these. And what that's going to do is just draw out some of the moisture. Um... Uh, Get it started cooking. So that's just a shake, shake of salt. And here's a shake, shake of black pepper. Can y'all see there are hangings on the ceiling? <laughs> Today's real, folks. I've not had enough coffee. Let me just tell y'all, let's take a little rabbit chase here, as I like to do. Whoever sent that Mardi Gras coffee, that community Mardi Gras coffee? What was it called, Mama? Uh, Mardi Anyhow, it's delicious. It's got a hint of cinnamon, a hint of, uh, it's just a good flavored coffee. I'm not even big on flavored coffees, but this is delicious. This is my second, third cup of it. Second, like third, what's that? Third cup. I was thinking it was the second, but I had three cups. Uh, this is my second pot today. The first pot was just pure old community coffee. Second pot, I thought, hmm, I gotta try that Monte Gras coffee. And I did, and I like it. We're going to use some of that Mardi Gras coffee, even though it's flavored. It's not a... It's some kind of cake. Oh, uh, king cake. King cake. We're going to use this, even though it's flavored, but it's not going to flavor our ribs. It's just going to... The acid in the coffee is just going to... Um, well, it's just going to uh, use to tenderize it. Hi from Lafayette, Indiana. Hello, Barbara. How are you? Mama, you want to go ahead and pour in this uh, craft right there. Mama's going to do the honors and pour the coffee. Y'all always ask us how much. It's just enough is what I always say. She's going to measure it for you out in a coffee cup. About a half a cup. About a half a cup, maybe more. Whatever you want to use. But it, all it does is just gets in there and it coats that ribs and it gives that flavor. And here is just the main ingredient, the star of the show. Just not even, I wouldn't call that a, that's almost a half a cup. And all you do is just pour that right over that salted ribs. See how hot it is? Ooh. The reason I, ooh, I sipped a little bit while I got it and I thought, ooh, that's, that's hot. Well, go ahead and turn this on high because we're going to cook these probably four or five hours. Uh, we're going to have a light supper. Well, we'll have a light supper. You know, that's mama. We'll be out working in the garage. Now, this is a 16.9 fluid ounce Dr. Pepper. And I'm just pouring it over the ribs. I'm just coating them all with the ribs. The Dr. Pepper probably does a lot of the same thing as the coffee does. It just sort of uh, tenderizes it. But the Dr. Pepper has got 23 wonderful flavors in it. Right there it says. And uh, those flavors will go into that those ribs. That's it. Now Mama will put a little bit more water. You put more coffee? No, that's I'm going to try that. Uh, that's me, of course. Oh, that's you. Yes, Mama said, back off now. That's my coffee. I want to try that. Flavor. She wants to try that uh, flavor coffee. It just got a hint of cinnamon in it, a hint of, of king cake in it, but it's not going to hurt our meat. So we're using the flavor coffee. Mama's putting in two cups of water. Yeah. A little over two cups of filtered water from the sink. They may have put it in the kiln for a while. This water out when it gets. Uh, yeah, or take the lid off. Mm -hmm. Now Mama's going to. Put the lid on. I've set it on high, and we're gonna forget about it for the next three or four hours. Then when we get about the last hour, we're gonna coat it really well, and today we're using this. I had used different kinds, but today it's Sweet Baby Ray's Original Barbecue Sauce. That's what I found in there. Mama says that's what I had, that's what we're gonna use. So that's what we do. Uh, some of y'all have sent us some delicious barbecue sauce. 
I know somebody sent us one. Um, Mont 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 <laughs> you didn't leave me a soda. Mama said, you didn't let me know that Dr. Pepper. I wanted a soda. Well, it's that real stuff. No zero to it. Mama, we, there's more Dr. Pepper in there. All right. You just hope you have one drink to your heart's content as long as it ain't over. Two sips of wine. Two drinks at a time. Mama's done really good, folks. She's done really good. Well, you know, we planted lettuce and onion this morning. Um, and she's worked in the garage. I worked in the garage a little bit, but I had to do some errands. I had to go pick up some stuff for Mama. And um, I'm going to go down and work in the garage a little bit more. She, I might make her take a rest because she's been going nonstop all day long. And then, because the sun's shining, she did in her head the other day. She, or the other day. What is wrong with me today? I need more of this coffee. She got in her head about, it. oh, 40 minutes ago, she needs to take a walk. So she's walked for 20 minutes. She's done her exercise today. I said, Mom, I think you've done enough today to count for exercise. I don't know it. Tomorrow I'm not moving. <laughs> I should have went with her, but I didn't because my knee, I woke up this morning with my knee. I don't know if I slept with it with a twist, but I got a little wrap around it to see if I can get it back to normal. I was wondering if I've been in the garage as much today because it's concrete. That makes it bad. Hey, Sue Davis Wilson, how are you? Hi for New Hampshire. Oh, wow. Wow, Mary, I love New Hampshire. Never been. I want to go, but I've seen pictures. Uh, old orange. Donna says, add orange marmalade to basic ketchup. Best barbecue. Hi, Donna. Tell the chance. Tell the chance. Are you telling me? We would make the little smokies that way sometimes. No, or meatballs. Which one is it? Little Smokies. Little Smokies. And meatballs. We do meatballs with some. Donna James, are you telling me all I need is ketchup and orange marmalade to make a barbecue sauce? Mm. Well, you've talked me into it. I will give that a try. Oh. You have a hacker on here, Tony? Who is the hacker? And we will delete them. Is it a, somebody trying to talk people into coming to be their friend and all that mess. Tony, give me the give me the name on here and we'll delete them. Yeah. Folks, it seems like okay. Hey from Chickamauga. Angel, thank you so much. Angel Angela Tucker, we love you all too. Um, I'm going to make mama's veggie bars. Oh yeah, mama. Why don't you make mama's veggie bars? Those were so good. You're gonna eat. Yes ma'am, I know. Yes. Uh, I'm planning on, I may not get to it, I'm planning on, well, we'll do baked beans. I'm planning on making potato salad. Mama, would you eat some potato salad or would you rather have mashed potatoes? <coughs> Mama's been smoking again <coughs> out behind the barn like she did when she was 12. Oh, she don't smoke. Mama don't smoke. I don't smoke. And my daddy took all the fun out of that. He smoked a pipe, and he would tell us kids, if you want to smoke, come in here so I can watch you, and I don't want you out to my barns and stuff. Don't burn my barn down, you bitch. Well, he had Two barns. eight kids. And uh, I told him one day, I said, Daddy, you just took all the fun out of it. And he said, what do you mean? I said, smoking, the best part of it was sneaking around trying to get caught. And you always said, I, anything I do, I ain't going to get on to you for. So he he smoked a pipe. So, oh, strongest soap battery you ever smelled. <laughs> Deanna, let us know how those veggie bars turn out. So we do Carolyn smoke. Davis says, let her work. Good heavens, she's not 100. That's right. I'm not 100. Carolyn, it's just because she don't have quitting sense. And that's the truth. Mama don't have any quitting sense. Hi from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Ooh. Mama, do you have quitting sense? Yeah, I do. They're just mm -hmm. kicking on me. No. Never made ribs. Going to try this. Joan, they're delicious. Uh, I love them this way, and they are delicious. Mama don't have quitting sense. Here's Mama's idea. Get the job done, then we'll quit. So if, she's, if she goes out in the garden, 10 o'clock in the morning, if she's not through by 12 or 12.30, Nathan, thank you for those stars. Nathan Honeycutt, thank you so much. 
thank you all for the stars. Y'all are so gracious and kind. Y'all really are. Maria, thank you for that. Um, if Mama goes out at 10 o'clock in the morning and starts in the garden, it may be cooler then. At 1230, 1 o'clock, if she's not finished, she'll stay in there and she won't quit. And I said, Mama, you're not on production. You don't have to. 76 degrees. Who said that? That's Folks, what we've got, honey. That's, we got 76 exactly, too, y'all. Mm -hmm. Uh, but she, she'll just stay and stay. And I said, Mama, take a break. You're, you're diabetic. You, you know, you need to take care of yourself. 79, Paula. You're beating us in Ohio today. Thank you, Sonia, for the stars. Thank you, Rita. Um, but if Mama would just work a while and stop and rest and I could trust her, she'll just completely drain herself. And, um, now you see she looks... She don't look tired right now, <laughs> even though she's been going all morning. But uh, and then I walked when you And then this evening, though, she'll just be completely worn out, and we'll film in the evening. And then you'll say, "Mama looks tired." I think she is tired because she's gone all day. I can tell I'm getting tired now. As it is. Mama's a go-getter now. Um, I'm bossy and I'm pushy, but it's all out of love for Mama, and Mama expects me. I mean, we've been playing this game a long time. Mama <laughs> expects me to tell her what to do so she cannot do what I tell her to do. Yesterday, I told her exactly what you said, and you didn't brag on me. Mama, you did good. <laughs> you did good. You did good yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mama went to the grocery store yesterday. Don't you tell all of it. She bought all these groceries, and uh, she, had, she said, I bought this, this, and this, and this. I said, now, Mama... When you get home, you, know, you listen to me and you better not make me uh, be disappointed. I said, when you get home, you carry in the cold stuff only. Because I usually go to the grocery store because of that. And I said, Mama, and I tried to get her yesterday. I said, let me go to the grocery store. No, I'm going. So she comes, she said, I bought all this stuff. I bought this. I said, Mama, when you get home, you carry in the cold stuff only. And you leave the rest. Oh, I, I said, Mother, promise me you'll mind this one time in your life. I don't want you carrying groceries in. I want you to take what you absolutely have to. Yogurt, the meat, and the stuff like that. Fine. That has to go in. But do not carry in all the rest of this stuff. And so I didn't trust her. So I came home a little early because I thought, hmm. I came home and she had to the T. Mama, you did so good. I know it. I was so proud. She really was. But I'm talking about pop in in big loads of groceries, and I can't do nothing with her. Sent, well, thank you. Who said that? Who sent that? Hey, Russell Elliott, thank you for the stars. Um, hey, Karen, thank you for those stars. Y'all are so gracious. We're going to do another cook along, and we'll do some more cookbook giveaways. And uh, we like we take the star money. We like to we found we figured the best way we could do it. We'll buy cookbooks from the church, and we pay for everything we give away on here. And we don't consider the cookbooks ours; those are the churches. Uh, but we'll buy cookbooks from the church, gives the church the money for the cookbooks, and then we give them to you all for appreciation gifts. And that's we've not gotten any star money yet, but we hear that there could be some. I hope they give us. <laughs> If they don't, it's okay. But uh, that would be a wonderful way for us all. The circle of love of of stars and, and money and the church can get some. And then we can give you all some cookbooks as we cook along together. Isn't that wonderful? We absolutely love last Saturday. Oh. Well, there's that? a stars party. <laughs> I didn't know we had. Some people tell the stars party completed. Thanks. Oh, here's a name. Sherry. And eight others to help the chief of stars party. Well. Micah, Chris, I had never noticed that little thing down there. Thank you all. You are Thank super, you. super. That is wonderful. Um, but we love the cook along and the giving the cookbooks, and it was easy. All we did was you all PM your address as soon as the video was over, like we asked you to once we called your name. And um, I think there was a little misunderstanding. Some people had sent me their addresses in trying to register for the drawing or something. 
There was no drawing. If we give away anything, it'll be live right here in front of you all. Uh, thank you, Jeffrey. Um, and so we uh, sent those out the next day. I hope y'all already gotten them. If that you want a book. Saturday and we sent them out Monday. We sent them out Monday. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Laura, for the stars. If you if you want a book and you've already gotten it, you've got to enjoy it, tell us on here so we'll know that you enjoyed it. Um, but that was so much fun. We enjoyed that. So we're going to do, we all talked about it in business meeting the other night on here. And I'm just making that part up. It wasn't a real business meeting. We didn't say <laughs> that stuff. But we talked about we're going to do two ingredient biscuits. And we're going to have biscuits and gravy in breakfast for supper. And we're going to do it one night during the week. So you all pick a night. What's the most convenient? What's your least busy night or a night you normally cook supper? I was thinking probably Thursday nights might be good. Uh, Tuesday nights might be good. A lot of folks have Dr. Pepper ribs. What? Wait, 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 wait. Come back. Susan. Well, Susan. This is. What is your recipe for the Dr. Pepper ribs, Susan Tucker? Susan, it couldn't be simpler. Hey, Helen. Thank you for the stars. We put a back, a back. Something's wrong up here today. It's not all flowing in a circle. It's flowing in more like squares. Do you all have We took a pack of baby back ribs that were frozen. They had them on sale. Done it at Save a Lot back, oh, probably January, December. And I bought up about four racks of them because they were on sale, like at half price almost. We, they were frozen. And so we took a pack of those and I let them out in the refrigerator early this morning. And then for the last 30, 40 minutes, I put them in a sink of hot water just to finish them off. Mama opened them up. We yeah. salt and pep washed them. Mama washed us. So yeah. um, we salt and peppered them good. You, you all can watch the beginning of this video. We did, you see, she just put them in here straight out of the pack and I salt and peppered them right here in the crock pot. And Mama put... Look, about about six ounces of coffee that I had brewed over here, and it was even flavored coffee, but I don't worry about that because it's not going to change the taste of the meat. And she put coffee in, that acid will just help tenderize them really good. It falls off. Oh, they're so good. And then I put a 16.9 bottle of Dr. Pepper on top of them, and then we put two cups of hot filtered water on that just to have a little moisture in there. And we may have to take the lid off the last hour or so to let some of that moisture out but it'll most it'll um, it'll cook but it'll tenderize that meat it'll tenderize those ribs so good and then the last hour 40 minutes whatever I'm gonna put sweet baby rays over it and let it just sort of set and stew in that and it'll be very good and then they're ready to eat that's all you have to have so I'm probably gonna make uh, unless mama says different mama's not the biggest fan of potato salad She'll eat it. She likes mine pretty good. Uh, but if she wants something different, I'll fix her something different. But uh, we're going to have baked beans, potato salad, and ribs for supper tonight. Mm -hmm. And it's so good. And I'll show you my crazy potato salad. Um, I made my potato salad probably different than anybody in the world. And I remember when I first started, when our videos first started going out to a lot of people, that was one of the things I made, and they were all like, what is he doing? Because I like my potatoes cooked. I want them hot. I put butter, and I put cream in my sweet potatoes, and my potato salad. And then I put the other ingredients, and I stir it up, and it's wonderful, really. It really is. Everybody, mama don't do her self like. Uh, everybody at my work likes my potato salad. The first time I took it, they're like, this is really good and when I start telling them how to make it. So they like it that way. And uh, anytime I take it anywhere, everybody likes it. So, so far, I've not had anybody that likes potato salad that said they didn't like mine. Uh, because I made some potato salad one time out of leftover mashed potatoes. And Mama said, you know what? This potato salad tastes almost better than regular potato salad. And I said, it does. I said, there's not a thing different in it. Because it's just cooked potatoes, mustard, a little, man, a little bit of mustard, mayonnaise, sweet pickle relish, and I put carrots in mine. And that's the only thing different, really, would be the butter and the cream and the mashed potatoes. I said, you know what, next time I'm going to try that. 
And I did, and we love it, don't we, Mama? Yeah. I'm not a big potato salad either because I got sick on it. Because she ate too much of it when she was a kid. Well, we was in the mountains picnicking. She found it. No, it was hot, and I eat the potato salad. And probably the onions made you sick. It made me sick, so I'm not big on it. I've been married a lot of years. Hey, Donna. Donna's explaining something to somebody. I just seen you fly by, Donna. Donna is on our page. She helps us. So when you see Donna M. Bledsoe there, she's the admin of our page. So she uh, she knows most all of our answers. She keeps us straight. She's the one. Donna's the one that pins all those wonderful recipes for y'all. And most of the time, the time I get one cooked, she's already flashing it to me and saying, "Here, it's done." I'm like, "How'd you do it so fast?" So thank you, Donna. Um. But that is Dr. Pepper ribs. That's the quick, easy version, and they are delicious. Never had them to fail us. Never had them not to taste wonderful. Have a moment. Oh, and uh, now what I'll do in a little while is where some of this is not underneath the liquid. I don't cover that all up because there's so many of them, and I don't like to cut them up. In a little while, once that gets hot and they cook about an hour or so, I'll take a fork, turn them, so they're all marinating, and all hot, and all in that liquid so you just have to watch them a little bit now if I were gonna set it and forget it you know like go to work or leave I would have cut them in half laid them on top of each other under the liquid I would have done that differently make your famous coleslaw John Jan are you talking about the cowboy coleslaw or just the plain old coleslaw because everybody loves the cowboy coleslaw and it's got black beans corn I can't remember it's what I'll have. Meal, but it's a meal, but it is in our church cookbook. Uh, thank you for that. I get some flowers and coffee cups. Thank you for the stars. I don't... Nathan, honey, thank you for those stars. Y'all are so kind. Um, so, the cowboy coleslaw has got a lot of different stuff in it. Then I just like plain old coleslaw, where I just do the coleslaw and uh, do the cabbage and then put um, a little bit of red wine vinegar and a little bit of sugar and dissolve that up and then put a good mayonnaise in it and stir that up and basically make a dressing for the coleslaw and usually our coleslaw only has uh, good fresh cabbage and carrots in it grated up and we use salt the and, and salt and pepper a little nature seasoning sometime never any onions unless it's that one day in spring when we have garden onions, garden cabbage, and, and a, you know maybe even garden carrots if we planted carrots, that may be the only time we'd ever put a little onion in it, and it's sort of a different flavor. And that's a one day only. It, it, I find coleslaw hard to keep over if it has onions in it. It gets really strong, or it does for us. Could you please post the address for the church cookbook again? Thanks, John. Daryl, I sure will. This is the church cookbook. Mama, have you got the church cookbook candy? We've not. I'll get it. Yeah. Here is the address, and you all tell me both ways. Some people. Mama. There it is. So it's John Davis, P.O. Box 918, Jellico, Tennessee, 37762. If you want to take a screenshot, and I'm going to flip it for you people who said that's backwards. So that, if, it's, if that's right, that's what it is. And if not... This is the other way. So that looks right to me, but y'all said that's wrong for you all. So both ways you can screenshot. That is the, the P.O. box. It's right there on Tip Top, Mama. Very first by that little sign. Tip Top. Oh. It's been a the snake. other top, Mama. The other top. If it been a snake, I'd been a goner for sure. I was seeing it, Mama. What? I was shorter. So this is our church cookbook, and that's the front of it. Let me look up the coleslaw, and I'll tell you what's in it. I don't know what page it's on. Soups and salads. Huh. Mama, did they take it out of here? It is in this book, isn't it? Look under vegetables, maybe it's under it. Under vegetables? 
It should have its own section. Code fault section. Oh, wow. <coughs> <coughs> Is it cowboy coastline? Yeah, but I was looking under salads. Here's appetizers and vegetables. The book is is um, it's broke up into different sections, of course, and I was thinking it would be under soups and salads, but it's not. It's going to be over here under vegetables, where it probably should be. You just can't, you know. Baked beans and uh, reading this book will make you hungry, though. Uh, it's on page sixteen. There's all kinds of goodies in here. So let me read you my... Oh, it's under vegetables and side dishes. Probably should be right there. Vegetables and side dishes. Now on this one page, there's all kinds of goodies on here. So here is uh, the other 16. You know, the one after 15. <laughs> Cowboy coleslaw right here. The very tip top. It's got... Two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, one cup of mayonnaise, one can of petite diced tomatoes drained. You don't want the liquid. One package of cold slaw mix, and I get the coarse, you know, just the one's got the purple cabbage, the other cabbage, and the other. So that's the cold slaw mix. One can of whole kernel corn drained. One can of black beans rinsed and drained. Not just. Pour that off, and you have to rinse them in a tea uh, strainer. Look pretty if you know. Right. One cup of onions chopped. One pack of romaine, uh, Roma noodles. Any flavor, because you're not going to use the flavor. You're just using the dry noodles, and you sprinkle that on top. And you use a tablespoon of salt, a, a, a teaspoon of salt. Actually, says a tap, one tap salt. I guess that's one tablespoon, TSP. One tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of pepper. I probably wouldn't use a tablespoon of salt. Oh, teaspoon. I think it should be a teaspoon, TSP. So it is, it's a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of Morton's Nature's Seasoning, one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. So that is my but cowboy coleslaw. The noodles don't go on until you get ready to eat it, sir. Exactly. So, like, if you're going to take it for a church dinner or you're going to use it for supper, use your Rama noodles and put them um, on at the very last. Just crunch them up inside the pack. Sprinkle them on there. That just gives you a little crunch. Uh, but the rest of it is, um, that's the ingredients. Basically, it has corn and black beans in your regular coleslaw mix with some onions. And uh, that's about in cheddar cheese. So, that's cowboy coleslaw. Um, I might make that this week. We'll see. That sounds like something I might be making. So, uh, cowboy coleslaw this week, probably. Um, but then my regular coleslaw is just, uh, red wine vinegar, about a tablespoon of sugar. I put that in a bowl. I let it dissolve. I add a good mayonnaise to it and, uh, make it, basically make a dressing. By the way, you can use that same combination for any dressing you want to start out with, including ranch if you want to. Uh, and then I pour that over fresh cabbage and fresh uh, carrots that I have ground, shredded in the shredder here in the chopper. And that's it. Okay, sounds good, Kathy. Thank you. Uh, hey, Jason. You like that? That would be good. It is good. And it would be good with these ribs. We might have to make some cuts off. I can find good cabbage. Uh... Sounds like cowboy caviar, Nancy. Caviar. I have heard of cowboy caviar, but now, I, does cowboy caviar have cabbage in it? Um, made a homemade peach pie today, Kathy. That oh, sounds wonderful. Boy. I make mine the same away. Um, request for your address again, Paula. Okay, let me hold that up. This is one way, <laughs> and here's the other way. Just screenshot that, Hopefully but it's John Davis, P.O. Box, 918, Jellicoe, Tennessee, 37762, and this will, this, will, this is our coffee time address, 
And $17, check or money order. Uh, and you can make the check out to OMBC, which stands for Oswego Missionary Baptist Church. Or you can make it out to John Davis, Francis Davis, Tootsie Davis. The bank takes all those because we've had them all brought in. We deposit the checks. We never cash a check, so it's always deposited in directly in the bank account. And they really don't have a problem with deposits like that. Uh, hey, Kimberly Sanders, thanks for jumping on. Hey, Jennifer Horn, how are you? I don't know what they said. I think y'all are having a conversation. I probably missed part of it. Uh, your dessert needs to be a double chocolate Coca-Cola cake. Mm, that sounds good, Angela. I would take that. Happy Saturday, John and Mama. Nice to see you too, Kathy. Hey, Wilma, how are you? Thanks for jumping on. Hey, Francis, how are you? Pat? Um, but that is the code slows. But tonight, I think we're just going to have maybe potato salad, baked beans, and ribs. Mm. Unless Mama says she wants mashed potatoes. No, if we have something tomorrow, we'll probably have mashed potatoes. Mama's really wanting that meatloaf tomorrow, I believe. We'll probably have fried meatloaf for Southern Sunday lunch. And that will be, what is that going to be? What are we going to have with that? Mashed potatoes and, and peas. And peas. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and peas, and probably crescent rolls. Oh, yeah, Because that would be a fancy Sunday kind of thing. A fancy Sunday. Some wampum crescent rolls. I hope I've got a can left out there. Hello from Oliver Springs. Well, Danetta, you're just right across the hill. Thank you, Bev. We, we, we love being here with y'all, and we love y'all being here. Uh, the cost of the cookbook includes shipping. Yes, thank you, Nola Thompson, Thomason. Uh, she's got the information right there. Uh, if you can all see Nola's post, it's the cost of the cookbook is $17. That does include shipping, and that is the, um, that is the uh, whole rate. I think I may have pinned. Yep, there's Nola's comment right there on the bottom of the screen. Thank you, Nola. Um, the cost of the cookbook includes shipping, $17 US. That's for the United States. Uh, if you want one outside, the shipping is outrageous. I can't believe how much it costs to send a little cookbook to Canada. It's like $25. Um, oh, it's cool. And you have to use US currency because when we do a currency exchange, we sent one cookbook, someone said from Canada, um, how, uh, can you send me a cookbook um, this in, when, we when we first started? And we said, sure. And uh, she said, the shipping will be more, I will add. And she sent, for the $17 cookbook, she sent $36 or something. One lady sent 100 And the $36 was gone. Because we had to do currency exchange, which was... They call it to an exchange house. It was very expensive just to get the currency exchange to U.S. And then the shipping was $25, so we learned our lesson on that. But she had covered the cost, and she did get the book, and that was what was important. But, yeah, it was very expensive. But, you know, it was, it was around $36 just to get the book there, not counting hardly the cost of the book. <clears throat> Has Mama showed, has Mama slowed down on her soda pop drinking? Isaac, she has. She has gone to zeros. Uh, here's her, here's her drink of choice. It's Sprite Zero Sugar. Um, she went to the doctor. The doctor said, yeah, your, your A1C is getting a little high. If you don't want to be on, Mama, are you trying to hide behind me? Or? No, I said in my caffeine was too much. Swing around. You look like you're in another room and you're trying to hide behind me. <laughs> she's right here. I mean, it looks like she's really far back, but she's really not. I got wrong. I'm going to do You can't get me up here with this hot pot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she did cut back. She has been exercising and she's been doing good. And uh, I'm proud of her because mama was a Coca-Cola addict and a Sprite addict and you know, she would, she would kind of cut back on sweet treats because she knew she was headed towards diabetic. But she wouldn't cut back on the drinks. 
and when I showed her even a diagram on Facebook, you can look at the little cubes of sugar. How many's in a regular Coke? They're stacked up. There's 36 grams or something in it. And it looks pretty bad. But then when the doctor told her, you're marching toward having to use a needle for insulin and you're, mar you're, you're doing good with, with that exercise and a little pill a day, you're going to be in bad shape. So she straightened up and I'm so happy. Hard to come up, what'd you say? Hard to come up with something. Uh, Kelly, I'm not sure what you're saying there. But yeah, it's hard to, if you're talking about cooking different meals from people who like different things. Oh, Zero yeah. sugar has aspartame for sweetener in it. Does it? I don't think, does this one have aspartame, Mama? I don't know. I asked you, did it? <laughs> I thought we They're looked. You're probably at, trying to kill me with rat poison and stuff. With rat poison? Aspartame. Is no. aspartame rat poison now? No, I just said different. Carbonated water, less than 2%. Citric acid, potassium, citric nutrient, potassium, benzo, benzoate. Yep, it does say aspartame on the end. Uh oh. But it's not hurt you so far, Mama. Zero caffeine and 100% natural flavors. What does, time with it. what does aspartame do for you? I, if you're not allergic to it, I don't guess it does anything to you. Ask him what aspartame does. What does aspartame do, Mama said? I can drink these, but I could never drink the diet. Diet she couldn't do with the zero she's been able to handle. Uh, my weakest is grape soda. Kathy, I love grape soda. Oh, Once wow. in a while, I buy... The leaders. Yeah, we love grape soda. We love orange soda. The other night I had to have me some orange soda. Um, we love those things, but I don't like them every day. You know, I don't want grape soda every day. I don't drink any soda every day. Um, I've never had a problem with sodas or pop. Even when he was tiny little, he never did. He drank milk instead of pop. He never did. Drank a lot of water. Pauline, it's not that high. That's awful. Pauline says gas is five ninety nine. Five thirty nine to five ninety nine in California. Ooh, ours. Ours is four dollars. I ain't it? gonna complain about ours no more. They it causes cancer, Susie says. Oh. Mama said oh. Well, it's yeah, it can in large amounts, very large amounts, but um, she's cut back on the amount too. Artificial sweetener. Yeah, it's not good. Zero and diet are the same. Neither has sugar in them. I can do the zeros better than can the diet, so I think they got a little better flavor to them. It's hey, Robert the Reed, how are you? Probably. Hey, Jane. Uh, is it Jamie? Connie. <coughs> I mean, outside. And the wind is blowing. Y'all were with us earlier when we was playing. The wind is out of control here. We have oh. wind gusts. Three ninety nine dollars in Missouri. That's Terry, good. That's good. Um, Nancy, I am an only child. Oh, yeah. Huh. Okay, folks, like I said, we're not going to be able to finish this meal. It's going to take about, but you can see it's already steaming up here. You can see that condensation together. You wouldn't have talked that long if you could stay on that. <laughs> you found it over there. I've hurt you feelings. Mama, you've friend. hurt my feelings in front of friends. <laughs> Mama said I could talk six hours before you can stay down here. <laughs> Uh, gas in West Virginia is 405. Frankie, that's about what? Uh, four, four something here. Um, hey Jessica, how are you? Terry, how are you? Hey Donna. Yeah. Uh, I got the same lecture from your Dr. Peggy. Did it help you? Did you do anything? I drink water most of the time or unsweet tea. With no artificial sugars or any artificial stuff in it. Peggy, you're doing great. She's wonderful. 
Mama, did you hear what Peggy said? Not really good. Water. <laughs> just water. What's wrong with water with lemon? What's wrong with tea with nothing? Tea is delicious with nothing. Mama always makes two jugs of tea. One unsweet and one sweet. I only will drink the unsweet. Mama will drink the sweet. I love unsweet tea. Love it. I like... I'm by tea kind of like I am coffee. Just straight up coffee. Just straight up tea. I don't want anything in it. If that's my preference. And I drink lots of water. Lots of water. Oh, yes, you do. I've carried this around all day today. Uh, because I just have to have my water all the time. Uh, I drink a lot of water poured over coffee beans, but I drink a lot of water just straight up too. Oh, nothing to me tastes any better than water. Oh, I can think of a hundred thousand things that tastes better water. <laughs> I love pure cold water. Pure, I'll drink at room temperature, but I love water, good cold water. This is water I've had today. I've carried it around with me. I love water. I drink a lot of, I take water to bed with me. I have water when I first get up in the morning. I drink water while my coffee's making. Uh, I like unsweet tea. Susan, isn't it the best? I love the flavor of just plain old tea, and it's so, I don't know, I just love it. Gas is three seventy nine dollars in pretty Ohio. Good. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, I drink a lot of water. Unsweet tea with honey and lemon, yummy. Lillian, I will drink unsweet tea with lemon or orange. Love it with orange. I will drink sweet tea sometimes. It's not like it just... I don't care if, you know, hate it or nothing. But if you have both, I'll take unsweet. Hi, John, cooking cabbage rolls. Oh, I love cabbage rolls. Deborah, I love them. I just don't, I don't make them. I cover with sauerkraut and canned tomatoes and bake for three hours. Wow, yeah. that sounds great. Yep. Laney, that's the best way to straight tea, straight coffee. That's what I like. And I love my water. Cannot get mama hooked on water or unsweet tea. I have tried. I miss your something. Hey, Lynn. I don't say that anymore because I got a letter that said that that phrase was taken and that I should reconsider and find a new phrase. Uh, it was, you know, one of those, if you don't, your next letter ain't gonna be so nice. So uh, once the numbers grew, it was fine when I didn't have much, many numbers, but uh, there's a trademark on that phrase. And uh, so I switched it to, uh, can we talk? Is that what I say now? I don't know. Okay. But let's talk is already taken. So uh, I, I kind of switched around. But I enjoyed that too. I probably could get by with saying, can we talk? Uh, but when I was saying, let's talk, I was in, got in a little bit of trouble. So I don't use that phrase anymore. I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about it being a phrase. Owned by somebody. Owned by somebody. I thought it was just words that I've always used my whole life. But anyway, so that's the reason I, I used to start out videos with saying that. Uh, but uh, I think I'd probably uh, say, can we talk? I think I can get by with that one. I've not got a letter on it anyway. Folks, you would be surprised at what happens sometimes when you have a, a show on Facebook. Uh, you'd be surprised what you're allowed to say, what you're not allowed to say. You'd be, able, you know, people talk about um, they call it sprinkling or watering because you can't say the other word. Um, you can't say deals or um, give away. There's a lot of stuff you're not allowed to say, or they don't want you to say. That, like 
you know, there's a term we all use for the uh, tool that we put glue in and it melts it and then you squirt it out and you use it for crafts. Don't just say glue tool. You're not allowed to say the other word that everybody has used for their whole life. You have to really be careful. Uh, there's other things you're just not allowed to say. And songs, oh, you really have to, you know, announce that you do not own the rights to that song or anything about it. And I'll say right now, just to clear myself, from, I don't own the rights to any phrases that I have used. Uh, so if somebody's out there, I'm not trying to use your phrases. Um, so you just got to be careful sometimes. Um, I, I think you might be talking to when I used to ride around. I got in trouble for that too, not anybody legal, but some of you all was very upset when I would ride around in the vehicle and talk about driving and filming at the same time. Uh, I always felt perfectly safe with it. Didn't feel any, any less safe driving around with you all in the car uh, because I had the camera secured to the glass. Uh, than I did with the human sitting right beside of me driving around talking because I was constantly watching the road and constantly monitoring what was going on. Uh, but uh, so I hadn't done that in a while because some of y'all were upset that I was risking people's lives by driving and, and filming at the same time, uh, even though I felt like it was perfectly safe. And uh, yeah, Linda, they do a lot. Um, but anyhow, we're still, we still just do what we do. And if they say don't do it, we don't do it. We're just, you know, we're just floating along, having a good time, talking with y'all, laughing, living, enjoying. And a lot of people say, uh, coffee time, y'all don't cook. Is this, isn't this supposed to be a cooking show? Well, really. it's really not. It didn't even start out as a cooking show at all. Uh, but it, it does, it has developed into a cooking show. We do a lot of cooking show, but... Mostly what we do is just live life in love. We don't, we don't have a program. We don't have an agenda. We're not, you know, we're not trying to do anything different. We just share with you all whatever we're doing, whether we're planting onions and lettuce in the raised flower bed, uh, whether we are putting the ribs in the crock pot. Crock pot and we'll come back tonight and we'll cook some tonight. Uh, Mama does sell Tupperware. She does it more as an outlet and more as a, a chance to get with a group of people and talk. Uh, and uh, then it gives her an outlet to sell too. But uh, it's not. there's no agenda behind it. It's just what we do. Um, commercials on here. Someone said, y'all have way too many commercials. That's just a way of living in Facebook land. Uh, I do not currently follow any shows. Uh, of anyone that does not have the commercials and the stars and the advertisements and the um, subscriptions, whatever they're doing, um, because that's a part of what Facebook presents for you to do. And they send you messages and they say, here's what we'd like for you to do. This would be a good boost for your show. If you don't participate in any of that, then your videos don't get pushed out. And your numbers will stop. And, you know, you want your videos pushed out. We want you all to sprinkle our video. We want you to send it out to your friends. Um, but as far as, you know, any of this other stuff, that's a lot of that's just what we, uh, when you're a part of the Facebook stuff, when you're doing an active show and you have, once you're, your friends, your followers, and whatever you want to call them, people call them different things, get so high, then Facebook looks at your page and you're kind of put into a, and they start monitoring you a little bit closer. That's just the best way to tell you. So, uh, Mom and I, our agenda, our sole purpose is to spend time with you all, enjoy it, laugh, have a good time, and take a break from this world. Uh, that's what we want to do. Uh... Hey, Jan, how are you? Let's chat. I like that, Jan. Let's chat. Uh, so maybe I can start some shows with that. And that's one thing we wanted to, uh, with the Dear John and Mama letters, we want you all to send, or you can do it on here. Um, and the, the recipes from your children and from your older children and from you, 
Um, we've got several. We've got several recipe letters. But we've not got no Dear John that I've opened up yet. Mom said we didn't have any of the Dear John and Mama letters. And those are just like the old timey advice columns. Not that we're certified to give advice or that our advice is any different, but it's just an outlet for us to open up dialogue in, in ways of conversation. And like I've told you, this is a public forum. We'll be talking about public stuff. So don't, it's not a personal thing. And it's not an argumentative thing. It's not a political thing or religious thing. We're not going to argue those things. All it is is just fun stuff. Like maybe, for example, Dear John and Mama, I fixed a pot roast and it was too tough. Here's what I did. Any advice? Or Dear, Dear John and Mama, uh, I have a hard time coming up with meals every night for supper. Do you have any new advice on any meals? And it's stuff we can talk about, stuff you can talk about, and we can all talk together, we can learn together. It's lighthearted. I'm not against anything that's real or maybe something real is going on in someone's life, but we want to keep it, you know, in a good way is too. We want to keep casual. it casual and upbeat and fun and informative, you know. Uh, so it's kind of your opportunity to have an outlet that we can share on here. Because as you say, a lot of people, um, we don't see all your comments. We don't see all your stuff uh, because it goes by really quick. And when you're sitting here talking and you're trying to uh, keep up and you're trying to read without his sitting here the whole time going, <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to pay attention. Uh, I pay attention, but it's hard to catch every one uh, that's on here. But we want to. We don't want to ever disrespect nobody. If you ever leave this page feeling like we have done something against you or disrespect or deliberate, did not talk with you, did not see you, I promise you there was no ill intent on our part. We, we, really, we really don't ever want anybody to feel that way. That's never our goal at all. Um, chatting with someone. Uh, jawing. I've heard that before. Uh, when you're talking with someone that you're jawing, yeah, run them in your jaws. Uh, I have really loved the chopper in those canisters. Says, well, thank you, Angela. She's talking about Tupperware, the, the uh, chopper that we use all the time. I'll, I'll probably be using it later to chop up some stuff. Um, we'll see. Okay, I can't, I'm not, not able to read. I think some of y'all are having a conversation. Sometimes that happens too. I, I can tell you're answering someone else. Uh, hey, Mary Flowers, how are you doing? Mary Flowers Odom, how are you doing? Hey, uh, Larray. Hey, we do have some mail, and Mama's gonna get the names together. Because Mom, we'll get them names together so we can. Uh, we do have some mail we want to thank you all for, and we will try to go over that. We really just jumped on here right quick to show you this crock pot full can. of ribs, and Mama's pointing out once again, I have not shut up. Thank you, Mama. They're going to be done when you get to talking. Mama. See, they're already, look at that. They're already simmering. They're already steaming. And they already smell good. And the only thing that's in them is salt and pepper and Dr. Pepper. Oh, and, and coffee. coffee, flavored coffee. That's it. That's all we have in those ribs, and they're going to be good. But they are going to end up with a good amount of sweet baby rays on them. Now, you use the barbecue sauce you like, and I like that uh, ketchup, huh? No, ketchup and orange. That ketchup and um, orange, mar marmalade. Uh, orange marmalade thing. I'm going to try that, too. Uh, so, we're going to say... Until later, we will be back. It's 3.39. We'll probably be back about three hours or so to start supper. And uh, between now and then, Mama, what are you up to next? What's on my next agenda for tonight? I don't know. We're going back to the garage. Probably a little. Just... Mama's garage is not the way she wants it. So we are, we are rotating junk. There are... Christmas stuff, some of it's still out there. It's got to be boxed up, carried to the basement. Uh, there's some other odds and ends out there that we got to take care of. And uh, it's 
Maybe we can start cooking out there some. We do have a stove out there. We can cook. Have to be this summer or something when we get this summer. Mama said we'll cook out it, there. It'll take them two months to get it straightened back up. Mm -hmm. That king cake, Mardi Gras, community coffee. I recommend it as a um, as a flavored coffee. It's very good. And as a product review, no sponsorship included. Um, it's good. Community king cake and that may have been something just for this week because this was back Tuesday and Ash Wednesday and today I heard on the radio I don't keep up with everything but today is National Women's Day so and I didn't know that I didn't know it either but it's heard on the radio so all you wonderful extra extraordinary women out there hats off to you all we couldn't do it without you we wouldn't want to and you all keep us all going and we thank you for it so happy Women's Day uh, I think it's got another name, National, maybe it's, it's Women's Day, I think. Somebody help me out with that, if it knows, because I know. The point is, we respect all you women, and we thank you, and we appreciate you. So, and if, if they want to call today that day to say that, then we'll do it today. But we should do it every day, because you all are the best. So, thank you all, and we appreciate you. And we're going to... Go say do good, something. Go say, say goodbye, Mama. God bless you. <laughs> and say goodbye, Mama. And uh, she's what she's really trying to say is, John, hush, I, get, I want you to do this. Come on. Get busy. We'll be back in a little while to finish up this meal. I'm afraid you're going to turn blue. You're not catching your friends. <laughs> Mama, you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. We'll be back and we'll eat something later. Next time we video, there'll probably be some eating involved. There'll be some more cooking involved. Uh, Mama will make some baked beans and I'll whoop up some potato salad. That's what it sounds like. It's going to happen. <laughs> I'm hanging up now, Mama. I'm pushing the button right now. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> I said I was.